Work on your serve. Serving is like throwing a ball. Let's see it. All right, now serve one. Shoulder coordination is bad. I'm really a left hand. I know, I know. Here, we're gonna take these old rackets. I want you to throw them one at a time and pretend you're serving. You tell me it's poor sportsmanship if I throw my racket. This is the exception, Tony. I can believe it. Once more, Maureen. So teach a new protege? She has possibilities. Hi, Maureen. I'm Tony Trabert. I know Mr. Trabert. Maureen Connolly. Nice to meet you. Hope to see you again soon. Keep practicing, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Let's try that serve again. Remember the throwing movement. Better. Let's go back to the rackets. I won't be late. You should get to bed soon anyway. Early start in the morning. Have a good time. Are you all right? I'm fine. Good morning, Maureen. Good morning, Mr. Traver. You work so hard. Don't you ever take time to play? Oh, Miss Tennant says I can't. Oh, that teach is so stern, but, you know, just a game or two. Oh, I can't break the rules, Mr. Traver. I don't think teach would mind. I don't know. You know why we've been talking? We could have played two games. Come on, I'll serve. <laughs> Shot. Too good. Love 15. Your ticket to San Diego. Oh, Tisa, it's not her fault. It was my fault. Miss Tennant, I'll drive you to the bus. Tisha, it was my fault. It wasn't her fault. Please, Miss Tennant, I... She wouldn't even listen to me. It's the best thing that ever happened. Oh, Maureen, you've been under so much strain lately. You know, there's more to life than just hitting a ball with a racket. Well, now at least you'll have some time for yourself. 
I don't want time to myself. It's over, kid. Accept it. You ought to send Tenet a thank you note. Giving up? It isn't fair. Mm -hmm. Cards were stacked against you from the first, so you're throwing in your hand. <laughs> she never really thought I could make it. She was just looking for an excuse to get rid of me. <laughs> now, Maureen, are you being fair? Who's at fault? <laughs> Seems to me like you had a, an agreement with Miss Tennant. Who broke it? I did. Well, can you be fair and blame her for that? No, I was wrong. It's my fault, and I'm sorry. But why can't you give me another chance? Maybe she will. I begged her. She wouldn't listen. Try again. Oh, what's the use? <laughs> you really want her to take you back? Yes! Well, don't lay there feeling sorry for yourself. Fight for the chance. Honey, you're not licked you think you are. A loser isn't somebody who gets knocked down. That happens to everybody. Loser's the one who doesn't get up after the first time. Maureen, you're not a loser. What can I do? Well, if it was me, I'd, I'd write to Miss Tennant. Level with her exactly how you feel. And I'd keep writing to her till I got an answer. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> I'm a girl. I was wrong. You did the only thing you could do. I don't deserve another chance, but I'm asking you to give me one. I've learned a lesson. I'll never break your rules again. You are the one person who knows what is best for me, always. Please write and say that I may come back. I will always be gratefully yours, Maureen. The prodigal has returned. The prodigal has promised to say nothing to you but goodbye. Everyone's entitled to have a little fun, Teach. All right, Maureen, let's see that serve again. mother will let her kid go bumming around the whole Pacific Northwest. It isn't bumming. Seattle, Vancouver, Salt Lake, Denver. She's being chaperoned. Yeah, by some other tennis tramp. These are very nice little girls. All right, now, where does the money come from to send these kids here, there, and everywhere? And they're sponsored by organizations. Right, for the bus fare and the train fare. But once they get to a town, they got to depend on charity for a place to bunk or something to eat isn't charity. A handout. I mean, give me some money and I'll do something for you. Oh, I won't chop wood or I won't wash windows, but I'll hit a tennis ball around a court. They're bums. What kind of a way is that to bring up a teenage girl, huh? You make it sound cheap. I just want you to see it for the way it really is. Miss Tennant says this is a very important step. <clears throat> Miss Tennant. I swear to you, if she told Marina to set herself on fire, you'd supply the matches. I'm not going to listen to any more of this. Jess! Jess, you do not take any responsibility for that kid. Now, admit it. 
You've turned her over to Eleanor Tennant, body and soul. Why did you marry me? Just to have somebody around to bully? You find a reason to shout and yell at me no matter what. Why did you marry me? You got no time for anybody except the tennis star. You're the one who talks about nothing but Maureen. You're not happy when she's here. You're not happy when she goes away. Right. As of right now, I quit caring where she goes or what she does. And I have had all the female tears and tantrums I can stand to last me the rest of my life. I am clearing out. To hell with all of you. The tour was a chance to test the new game I'd given you. You passed the test. It was Little Mo all the way, everywhere you went. At 14, you were in danger of becoming a West Coast legend. Time to move for national recognition at the Junior Nationals on the Philadelphia Cricket Club court. In the finals, you faced Laura Lou John, making her fifth appearance there. Runner-up the last two years, everybody's favorite. Well, not everybody's. Linesman ready. Players ready. Play. Love, 15. Love, 30. Miss Donnelly. Six four, six three. So at 14, you were the youngest winner in the history of the Junior Nationals. about me going on the tour with Nancy? Oh, sounds lovely. Oh, hi, Santa Barbara, Pebble Beach. Something's bothering you. No. Oh. Please, can't you tell me? <laughs> Mom, come on tour with me. Oh, you, you know we can't afford it. We'll manage it somehow. How? 
Well, you don't need me tagging along this time anyway. All right. You don't go, I won't go. You don't mean that. We haven't spent any time together for too long. Maureen, I'm not gonna let you do this. I want to. But there are other tours. Yeah, but there's so many things we've been putting off. You know, in my whole life, you're the only good thing that's ever happened to me. Mom. Oh, it's true. Everything else has gone wrong. I'm like a kind of jinx. My music, your father and I, Gus. But you're different. You're special. I wouldn't want to jinx your first really big two. Mom, whatever I do, whatever I've done, it's because I want to be the best at something, to make you proud, to please you. You have, Maury. Now, you're going this time on your own, and that's final. Why are you stalling? You know how to handle Chafee. Keep her on the move. Don't let her set the pace. She's got so much power. No more than you. Nancy's seated in the top five nationally. She's beaten Louise Broff, the world champion, held her own against Doris Hart. Will you stop building pedestals? Chafee's a good player, not as good as you. And the same holds true for Broff and Hart. Teach, this is a whole different class. Who knows best? You do. Well, go out there and prove it. Matches against Nancy Chafee honed your tournament play till it was razor sharp. Nancy never beat you, but all the matches were hard fought, the full three sets. She brought you out, made you reach for your best. Philadelphia first, and the Maidstone out in Long Island, the ELTA in South Orange, the Essex. By the time you get to Forest Hills, you'll know what to expect from all the heavy contenders. Hart, Rosenquist, Fry, Baker. You really think I'll get to play against top people like them? They'll play against you, and you'll win. Teach, I always believe what you tell me. But these are the top-seeded women in tennis. Rosenquist, Shirley Fry, and Doris Hart. She just won Wimbledon. They're good. You're better. Start believing it. You'll have all summer to convince me. No, I won't. I'm not going with you on the tour. Teach. My sister's dying. There's not much I can do for her except be with her till it's over. That could be tonight or two months from now. I've talked to Nelson and Sophie. Sophie's agreed to go with you. Well, I love Sophie. But it won't be the same. Teach, I don't know if I can do it without you. There's another possibility. You're only 16. We could lay low, make our move next summer. Well, it scares me to think of being back there without you. But it scares me even more to wait. See, if I'm going to do something, I, I, I want to do it now. Whatever you do, you do when I think you're ready. Of course. But, but you see, ever since I started playing, it's like I've been on a schedule. And if I get behind, I'll never catch up. I said you're ready. Make your move. I just wish I could get over the feeling that time's running out. In those first two tournaments on the Eastern Swing, you just managed to squeak by. Then at Maidstone against Pat Todd, you went completely out of control. The next week, playing for the Eastern Lawn Tennis Championship, Pat Todd swamped you again.
peaceful march on Forest Hills began to look like a ragged retreat. What are you doing, Op? I'm so bored. The doctor said for you to stay off that ankle for 48 hours. Now you get in bed. What's that music? They're holding the tournament ball downstairs. I had three invitations to that. I never seem to have time for boys. But when I do, this happens. Well, I'm sorry, Cinderella. I cannot get you to the ball. But I am working on a very nice surprise for you. You can be all right here alone. Sure. You stay there in that bed. OK. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Listen, should you be moving around like this? I mean, you have to do it sometime. <laughs> I've been at the dance downstairs real dull. Oh. You know, the music sounds better up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how to do this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teach! You're here! And high time. Well, uh, Miss Tennant, this is Ben. Hello, Ben. Hello, Miss Tennant. Goodbye, Ben. In the bed. Teach I in to bed. <laughs> I set you straight, shored up your confidence. And you were back in stride at the Essex tournament. into the semi-finals, competing against the new Wimbledon champion, Doris Hart. Miss Hart wins the first set, 10 games to eight. Game, set, and match to Miss Doris Hart. She wins 10-8, 6-3. did awfully well considering you played better tennis when you were 11 years old you couldn't even chase balls for real players teach teach what did i do 